Okay, um, this is uh, a difficult question, but only because um, we have to do it for a large number of rectangles. If we were to draw out 15 rectangles and label all of the sides and add it up, we could do it, but it would take a very long time. So let's try and be a bit sneaky here. And probably the best way to start is with the, uh, the stuff we know. We know uh, how to do it for one rectangle. So for just one rectangle, um, which I'll draw here, um, that's pretty straightforward. It would be, uh, so for one rectangle, the perimeter would be 14 centimeters. Uh, okay, let's, let's do two rectangles, see what happens. Um, two rectangles would look like this. And uh, I'd, I'd lose a little bit of the perimeter. So I'd have four here, three here, and four here. That would be three. That would be four. And this bit here would be one. And then I'd have three there. Another way to think about it would be it's actually uh, just like having two separate rectangles but missing um, six centimeters. So in other words, um, two rectangles would be 22 centimeters. I think I can add that up and uh, it would give me 22. So that's 12 plus, yeah, 22. Now, um, you, you don't have to take my word for it. You could try it with three, but every time I add a rectangle, um, the perimeter goes up by uh, eight centimeters. So uh, if I were to get to 15 rectangles, that would be like adding another 13 onto the two that I've already calculated. And um, I'd be adding eight 13 times. Uh, eight 13s are 104, I think. And so, um, we do 22 plus 104, which is 126. And um, that would be the perimeter for 15 rectangles.